Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be checking out the classic event on Roblox It is finally here, all the portals are here, so like all of the games and we are going to basically check some of them out So before we begin this video, please do like and subscribe, it will help the channel out and without further ado, let's begin So above each portal, there's like out of 10 ticks and then out of 5 badges I'd assume that is So each game you have to get 10 ticks and 5 badges which is... I don't know how much that is. Okay, let's check out Blade Ball first. Okay, so there is three different currencies that we need to collect. The first one being ticks, which you can apparently just find around the map. Okay, something is happening right now. Is this part of the quest? Let's vote to skip cutscene. Oh dear, did it get skipped? Oh, we just skipped our one. Oh, we should have watched the cutscene. Wait, we have to do an obby? What is going on here? There's a boss here. Oh dear, what is going on? I have no idea. I've just wasted my rapture though. Am I the only one alive? Why am I jailed? No way. I'm being controlled. Oh my days, you have to win that. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Okay, so if we take a closer look to this, Boss fight vote in four rounds. So every four rounds, we have to play five games, eliminate 35 players, find three ticks. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other games. So there is Arsenal, there is Adopt Me. Let's go in Arsenal and see what the update is here. Also, I want to mention I'm not trying to complete the quest each game in this video. Although if you guys want to see this in future videos, do let me know in the comments. But I'm basically just going through a few games and just checking out if the events are good or not in them games. Okay, so we are in Arsenal. I have no idea how you do this event, which is fun. Who is shooting me? Is this person up here? Did I get someone? No, I didn't. Okay, I'll give up with Arsenal. Let's try Gunfight Arena. Okay, so when you join Gunfight Arena, you have to click up here for, to get into like the specific lobby. Okay, so now we are in that lobby. Let's see what we have to do. These, person, these people were in our space. Oh my word, that was insane. Okay, but where can we actually see what to do? I don't know what I'm doing. So apparently there is ticks just randomly located all over the map. So we need to try and find them. Um, that is not ticks. That is ammo. Here is ticks. Here is ticks. Yay, we found some ticks. Let's go. Okay, that's a decent start. Let's see if we can find any more ticks before we move on to the next game. Got that person. We're actually doing pretty good. Need to reload, 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 reload. No! I knew it was too good to be true. We were doing too good for a second. <laughs> That's not fair. They're hiding outside of our spawn. What are we supposed to do about that? Hey, I found one of the ticks. Apparently, you need to find three. I'm not sure if that's true, but we need to find three. For the OG tokens, you need to get, like, specific classic event guns, which you will unlock. And you need to get a certain amount of tags with them to progress with the quests of this game. So, that is pretty long. I'll put it on screen now so you guys can see. But yeah, anyway, this is what the Gunfight Arena event is kind of about. Okay, we are now in Dress to Impress and you need to collect 10 ticks because I just collected one in the lobby. So, not in the lobby, in the game. <laughs> but yeah, you need to collect 10 ticks, which is not so bad, I don't think. Okay, so in the lobby of Dress to Impress, it says here, 1 out of 10 ticks. Collect all 10 hidden ticks throughout the lobby and dressing room area to enter the portal. So you need to collect 10 of these to get through the portal, basically. Um, there was a portal down here before the update came out. I guess that was like a little hint of like what was going to happen. But yeah, once you find 10 ticks, you can basically go through this portal and then continue the next part. So this is kind of a broad look of the Dress to Impress update. Okay, the next game that is part of this event is Clip It. And I have never played this. It kind of looks a little bit like TikTok. Um, however, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, view quest. There's quest here. And, oh, here you go. So basically, this text mentions how it's gone back to the egg hunt days of old, as it says here. We need to find 10 ticks as well. And we also need to find these characters. So once you do these two tasks, I'm pretty sure that's it. And John Doe is here. And Builder Man, of course, the legendary John Doe. It also says if you are struggling on this game, other players might have posted hints and solutions on the clip feed, which is. Basically, that is not the clip feed. This is the clip feed. So yeah, there could be basically hints on 
this sort of feed thing that it mentions about. The next game that is also a part of this event that we're going to be looking at is Tower Defense Simulator. And when you spawn into the game, it is very laggy for whatever reason. But there is a portal right here that I'm assuming you're going to have to walk through. Mission 1, Candy Cane Lane. Let's just check this out and just see what it's about. Okay, so basically, I'm pretty sure you have to just play like tower defense simulator as you normally would except these are obviously like customized levels for this event sure this has been a while since i've been here i wonder where this portal came from so yeah you just gotta play pets uh, not pets in pet simulator <laughs> tower defense simulator um as you normally would and basically progress through i think there's about six different levels or something you would eventually work your way through the quests and yep you also have to be finding ticks around the map and stuff in the lobby but yeah, the main thing about this game is getting through them six different levels, I think it is. Um, and then once you do that, you've pretty much done it. Okay, the next and final game we are going to be looking at in this video that is in the event is Adopt Me. And when you first join the game, it will ask you if you want to be navigated towards the event. So if you do, you should just click yes and then it will help you get there. I keep forgetting I have these random vehicles that I could just use, which would make it a hundred times quicker. I cannot control this thing at all. Oh, never mind. The event is just right here. So let's go speak to this guy who is called No Bert. And there is a Tix up here. So again, Tix will be scattered around the entire Adopt Me map. And you have to find 10 of them. So that is the first thing you should do. The second thing, I'm assuming you're going to have to speak to this guy who's asking me, am I a pro? Adopt a free classic teapot pet and age it up by completing needs to earn ro coin or ro coin sweet also you can find 10 ticks around this map and inside the buildings easy okay so the, the difference with this game is that they've actually made it a bit more difficult because the ticks can also be inside buildings rather than just around the map on the outside and outside yeah whatever so they've actually made it more difficult to find um ticks so good luck to everyone who's trying to do this so yeah i'm not going to be completing this quest for this video as i'm just this this video is kind of an overlook of the event as a whole but you will get a classic teapot and you basically have to level it up by just playing the game doing whatever it asks you to do and all that sort of thing and then finding the ticks outside like all around the map and also inside the buildings and that is also going to be it for this video as i said previously like earlier in the video this isn't me completing the quests it's just me going through some of the games and just checking out what the events are like okay so pretty much every game you have to find in fact no every game i'm pretty sure you have to find ticks around the map and the lobby whatever game it is and you have to find 10 of them and then there'll be some sort of other task where you have to sort of do this and then you unlock a portal or something like along the lines of that and then yeah um there is 15 games um that are involved in this event and each game you have to collect 10 ticks and five og coins i'm pretty sure and then yeah so once you get 15 badges per one game you can move on to the next game so in total there is around 150 badges you would have to get which is just insane um but yeah if you enjoyed this sort of quick like look through of the event then do leave a like and subscribe it will help the channel out if you want to see a more sort of specific dive into like certain games that are involved in this event do let me know what games you would like me to look into in the comments thank you all for watching and have a fantastic day